it has been a little while since I've mowed the lawn and frankly since I've done any filming because I've had a lot going on. Went to Montana, went to the lake house, didn't get any footage although I should have. So people have been in and out and I've been gone and doing a little this and a doing a little that. I got the Milwaukee uh, string trimmer. I need the red lithium HD 12.0. So I need the battery for the string trimmer. Which I have to say, I haven't been much of a, a battery operated string trimmer kind of guy. But I wanted to get that edging tool, okay? Long story short, it's a good deal, dude. I like the trimmer. I never thought I'd say that about a battery operated uh, string trimmer, but I actually like it. So got the string trimmer here. I really only wanted the blade edger. That's really all I wanted. In order to get this thing that changes out from the blade edger to the string trimmer, they make you buy the string trimmer, which really sucks. I didn't want the string trimmer, but it turns out that I like it. This is right here, the Daniel Hayes from Illinois sent the rotary scissors, okay? These are power rotary scissors, and I should be able to get them installed onto this Mil Milwaukee thing or whatever. I don't know how to get them on there, and then if I put them on there, then I don't get the string trimmer. So, I'm not sure what to do there, folks. It has been a week since I mowed the lawn here. It's pretty long, a lot longer than I would like it to be. But check this out. So this cone right here is a collapsible cone. Look at the shape this is in right here. So the cones here, you can see all the plastic here. And people have been driving over it, okay? So I got that here. It just goes to show how dumb some people are, how much they can't drive. This is the reason that that post is there. People don't know how to freaking drive their car. They cut the corner right here, and they've uh, run over that cone. I really only wanted the cone there for one reason, and that was to show people of the reflective nature of the tape or whatever. I have got some serious flowers going on here, okay? Look at this guy. This is Beep Beep Dahlia. Such a lovely event. You gotta deadhead your dahlias, okay? If you don't deadhead the dahlias, they don't grow more flowers. So this guy right here, this is called Bahama Mama. Had this one for several years and I really like it. It's one of the first ones I started with. Let's do some mowing here and get the trimming done. Mow the lawn. Whoa! Let's see here. It's hard to get this thing straight. I've been gone so much, my flower beds are full of weeds. I haven't been able to get to that project over there with the dirt to fill it in. I've got poetry of all over the freaking place. Just not sure what to do. The inner devil inside me wants to spray it all and uh, replant. Milwaukee string trimmer just keeps dying on me. I'm not sure exactly what the reason is. Maybe the string's too long or something. Guard's not on, I'm not sure, but it just keeps dying on me. And you hold down the trigger, nothing happens. If that's a safety thing, I'd um, disable that thing so freaking fast and make your head spin. Everything over here did grow in, except for I've got crap loads of weeds. If I can ever find time to come over here and spray these weeds, those should be easy to fix, but just haven't had time to do that or I haven't made time to do that. All right, so I'm gonna use this greens master to run around the edges and do around this, the part that the triplex cannot get. So check this out, this is dead. This is without a doubt uh, dead, dead, and dead. So that chemical really did a number on this section here. This section here doesn't look as bad. It's still bad. But I think I can, I think I can get that to regrow if I, if I cultivate it and put some seed down. I really do. I prefer to collect the clippings. 
And this triplex does not have a bagger, which really sucks, but I got a big lawn and I need to get crap done. So I'm gonna use this sucker and try to mulch up as many clippings as I can. It's been a week since I mowed the lawn, which is really bad if you're cutting your lawn short. It's really not good and probably really not good in general. Cutting way more than one third of the grass blades off. So the boy there, he was trying to steal my mower, getting on the mower, thinking he was gonna mow. I had to set him straight saying, hey, I'm mowing the lawn. You're not mowing the lawn, pal. He wants to mow the lawn and that's just too dang bad. I was gonna tell you something about this mower. Okay, so I bought this mower at an auction, Weeks Turf Auction in 2018. Okay, the December of 2018, bought the sucker for 1250 bucks or something like that, 1250 bucks. By the time I got done with auction fees, this thing cost me 1500 bucks, whatever. This mower is located out in Georgia. I'm in Utah. So that's a long freaking way. It's like a three, three day drive or whatever. Long, long drive. It cost me $1,500 just to get it over here, okay? $1,500 to get it over here. Don't want pebbles on your reel. So I try to stop and clean up all the rocks I can see. So I'm into this thing, three grand, just right out of the chute, and I get it to my house, and holy schmoly, that thing felt like it lived in the swamp. So I swear somebody at the golf course took this thing right here, they got done mowing, and then they drove it down into a swamp and left it there for about two years. And then they took it to the auction, they're like, let's sell this thing. So I got a little bit of the greasing done. It was about 20 ports or something like that, I don't know what happened. I was filming and then all of a sudden it kind of cut out on me. But I've got 20 or so ports, I just greased it up. It's been a while since I've done that. I'm gonna try to get this drip right here straight. What this guy wants. Let's see. Hey, park man. Hey, what's up? You have the nicest looking lawn in uh, like five western states. <laughs> can I, do you mind if I walk on it? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Is this your it's, place? Yeah. I'm impressed. It's not that nice. Did you used to be the head greenkeeper at a country club? No, I just like to mow the lawn and I like it to look awesome. So I just have done a lot of research. I went down a really deep rabbit hole and I just made it a hobby. Do you do this for a living or is this just no, your hobby? hobby only. Dude, I'm staying up here for a couple of days with my family. Yeah. Just coming back from driving, we had several cars and I'm just taking the slow route home. Yeah. And I'm looking at this lawn going, there are golf courses in Utah that don't have grass this nice. Well, that, that is true because I have the time and energy just to take care of this little patch. You know what I mean? And, you, and they have like a lot of stuff. And But you have rotary motors, mower, and... Yeah, so this is the golf, that's a golf mower. Yeah. So that's what they use on the golf. Yeah. It's a tee and trim mower. It, it's set to yeah. five eighths. I usually mow it like so several that, times a week, but I haven't mowed it in a week. Really? So does that mower keep your lawn level? It, kind of smooths it out, takes out the bumps uh, Not anything. so much, it doesn't do that. It does have a roller on the back there. Yeah. It helps a little bit, but not really. How I get it flat is uh -huh. I put sand on it. Do you golf? I used to. So today is Tuesday and I mowed the lawn exactly a week ago and I'm trying to get this thing mowed, but I just keep getting interruptions, people shopping by, people calling, um, just, just random stuff and so I, lose my daylight. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this tonight. It looks good uh, for the most part. I'm happy with it, but I am not going to be able to finish it. 
can see there, I'm losing my daylight and it's almost over. I'm gonna make a couple more passes right here, maybe finish it, but I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll probably come out tomorrow and finish um, mowing this and getting the rest of the story for you. I do have more to tell you about my mower there. So I bought it for 1500, I paid 1500 to get it to me, and then, I've got uh, more money into it. I was gonna tell you a little bit about what I've got into that mower. So I'm mowing the lawn here and it's crazy because I'm trying to get this sucker done and it's just so many clippings and going over the lawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times just over every single pass. Look at all these clippings here, okay? Crazy the amount of clippings is cutting off. So it's just, it's just dump and clipping. So it's just super, super long. And it does look nice. I'm happy with it. Just not up to the standard that I like to, like it to look. But, you know, people come by and say, hey, it looks really nice. And I do appreciate that. They're like, you're crazy. You don't think that looks good? I'm like, well, it's not what I want it to be. So, I mean, look at this right here. See all these clippings here? And then you can see that I missed this section right here this is exactly why you've got to mow more often more frequently and why i like using the bagger kids don't like it when i don't use the bagger because they don't like the clippings on their feet i don't like the clippings in the house but they are good for your lawn just got a few more passes to make but it just looks like so poor it just looks poor because all these clippings everywhere it's hard to get the line straight. All this POA triv is really pissing me off. So I don't know. Not really all that pleased with it, but it is what it is. So I'm not here to tell you guys that this is the most awesome lawn ever or anything like that. I'm just merely showing you what I'm up to. Really sucks about this thing right here. Somebody ran over it. I mean, I didn't really expect much. Pretty much figured that was gonna happen people really don't know how to drive it needs a double cut and really I need to get out here with my walk behind I don't know what to do I want to renovate the lawn and get all the triv out of there I really don't know what to do got a hundred pounds of perennial ryegrass seed that I'd like to put down the main thing that really pisses me off is all this triv okay all the poet triv I'm pretty sure all these light lime green spots or poa triv and they just piss me off like it's not what i'm trying to accomplish so i was thinking well if it's not what i want then fix it you know it's not that big of a deal yeah it's not exactly what you guys want to see but i'm not doing this for you guys i'm doing it for me ken you've been watering your lawn too much I've been over there watching you. You're watering your garden. You're watering your lawn. I'm going to turn you in. You know, if I don't. To the use, mayor. If I don't use it, somebody else will. No. Yeah. I'll turn you right in if you don't watch yourself. Yeah.